Hello, the friends. Dapper Drabby here, and welcome back to another box ten opening. And I think this is gonna be the last one for a little while, so be prepared. We're gonna get some lunch. How cool my my lights showing off in there. And since we already have our snack packs, we can open up one of those. Although, like I said before, these things are pretty sticky, so I wouldn't open them um normally before this, but. I did want to see if there's any Charmanders in this one. I see Squirtles. I see Bulbasaurs. Um, I see Gengars. There's a Charmander one right there. But yeah, see, they're they're kind of like a, a squishy mess in here. As you can see, like it literally, the whole thing came out in a blob. I wonder if I'm supposed to refrigerate these so they don't like mold into each other. But they are pretty cute, even though they are faceless. I can see there's the Charmander. No face. Um, maybe I'll wait to eat these until as a treat. I'll eat these as a treat for getting great pulls in the lunch box. You know, you these are to finish off your lunch anyways, right? So, let's see what's in our lunch. Do we have any food? No, it's not food. It's not food. It's cards. But it's a lunch box, which is cool. It has three foil promo cards featuring new forms of Pokemon, which I... Can't wait to see. I don't know if they're any good, but we're going to see if they're good. It looks like it's Ultra Prism Packs, Evolutions, Ancient Origins, and Sunny Moon, and much more. So these are pretty cool. This is what I'm excited about right here. Right here is what I am excited about. Look at that. That Lycanroc form. Can my Rockruff, my Rockruff can evolve as I ring the bell. As I ring the bell. So, I want in this. I want in this. Open. 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 There we go. There we go. I'm hungry. It's lunchtime and I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Give me my food. Or whatever is in here. So, normally I read the little back thing. So, it's a sturdy metal case. Sturdy metal case that contains more than a dozen Pokemon goodies, including many more not found anywhere. <laughs> I literally hit myself in the face with that. Okay. Oh my god, these are beautiful. These are beautiful. Look at that. Lycan Rock. Oh, such a pretty card. Oh, man. That's great. 120 HP. Bite for 30. And then Stone Edge does 90 damage plus 30. If you flip a heads. That's a great hollow pattern. I might just keep it in here. What is this guy? A Dusk Mane Necrozma. Ultra Beast. Steel type. 130 HP. Dust shot. This, uh, this attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon GX or EX. This damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. So 1 to 60, not bad. Rusty Claws, 100 plus if your opponent has exactly one prize card remaining. This attack does 200 damage in total. So this is uh, Sun and Moon promo 107, 105, and 106. And look at that Lycanroc coin. Can you catch the, catch the light? Catch the light and show it off. Okay, Dawn Wings and the Krasma is another Ultra Beast. So all these guys can be used with that Beast Ring eventually. We have the 130 Psychic type, Golf Stream. If you have exactly six prize cards remaining, this attack does 20 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. That's kind of a really random attack. So you have to have six prizes, and then you have to have damage counters on you. And so it doubles whatever damage counter is on you. And does that to your opponent. That seems a little rough. And then Sword of Dawn. Discard two energies from this Pokemon. 130 damage. Flat. So there you guys go. There is your um, your buzz hole counter. <laughs> maybe. Maybe if you have exactly 30 damage on it. I don't know. 30 to 30 would be 60. Yeah, I don't know. But these are beautiful. Alright, look at that. Like That's a beast of an art beastly art beastly ultra beast art ha ha and we have packs yeah we have an ultra prism with giratina on it an ultra prism with giratina on it an ultra prism i'm getting another more ultra prism sunny moon with that sogaleo himself at right you and a breakthrough mioto pack 
Put the plastic aside. Aside. Ooh, what else is in here? We have pencils. Pencils with ultra prism looky stuff on it. Uh, we got the, uh, ooh, oh my god, I'm never going to use this pencil. Never going to use this pencil. This is beautiful. Some lichen rock specific pencils. Some dusk main dawn wings. No pencils. No pencils. <laughs> no pencils. Uh, ooh, this thing is pretty. Hey, stickers. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I love these stickers. I want more stickers. Oh man. Ah, just let me let me bump things, knock things over. I did not know it was in this. I haven't checked out anyone's videos on this, but this sticker alone, amazing. And that's another sticker. And this is a notepad that I can write my deck list on, my deck list ideas on, with these pencils. Ugh. And then I'm never going to use that, but that's pretty cool. Sweet. So, what's the first deck idea? Now we want to have, uh, let's do the Dusk Main, Dusk Main Necrozma. Um, we only have one, so we're gonna, we're gonna put one in here. Um, we need a, uh, we need the, the other, the GX version, so we're gonna put three of those in here, right? Well, I only have two, uh, so I'm gonna put two in here. So we'll put two. We'll put a um, Dialga. I have one of those. GX. One of those. And then a Magmite. Uh, Magneton. Magnazone. And since we want to hit that pretty regularly, we'll put three, four... And, uh, two. And what we need from that, we need metal energy. Uh, let's just go with, like, a random number, like, 12. Uh, Mount Coronet. And I'm not going to go over the whole list. I'm just going to put trainers in a second. <laughs> Mount Coronet and some rare candies. And, uh, we'll put four rare candies. Screw it. We'll max out on Coronet, too. And we will uh, do you trainers. Trainers for uh, X amount of cards. 30. We'll put 34 trainers. Sure. Sure. There we go. There's the deck list right there. Let's make it. Let's make it. Not right now. We're going to open packs right now. Let's hope, start with some breakthrough and see if we can break through and get some good pools. Mm, Doesn't mean anything. But there's a code for you guys, though. Breakthrough. I don't know. I just have so many breakthrough codes that I really don't need that one. Let's see what we start with. With the breakthrough, it's still legal. Poncia, that fiery monkey. Pass, 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 pass. Swine nub with the powder snow. Sandy Shrew. That's literally my, my it's that's what his name is in my, my Pokemon Go, is Sandy Shrew. Meowth is so exhausted. Vanilla, let's get some ice. Ooh, I'm going to get some ice cream after this. Mewtwo. Cat turn with the derailment is a reverse. Is that Shespin? Look at him picking those pairs. And our rare is a Bronzong pain amplifying. Hmm. That's kind of cool. I like that attack so much. This is not very useful, I guess. Amplifying the pain. Top of Coco Bronzong. I think I've tried it. Doesn't work very well. So I guess I'm just going to open these and however I kind of threw them down here. Which means Evolutions is next. Oh, we do have something good in that one. So we'll put it aside and open it last, right? No, we'll open it right now. We got the Fiery Hordes Gen 1. Hey, drowsy, 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 drowsy. Electabuzz, the little fiery Vulpix. Don't let her burn you. Sandy Shrew again. I like the Sandy Shrew. Ooh, I like this. DCE. It's my faves. Super Potion, a Charmeleon. Reverse is that Electabuzz, and it's so shiny, so shiny. And our rare is a Polyrath Holographic with that Whirlpool damage. Does it, does it good at all? Oh, 140 HP is interesting. This, this on your bench became your active Pokemon. Does 50 more damage for one, one energy? So 100 damage, one energy. 
This is almost a Galisopod. It's like Galisopod before Galisopod. But Galisopod destroys this. <laughs> destroys it. Um, I really don't know where to put stuff today. So it's just kind of going there. Um, I think the next one is a Sun and Moon pack. There we go. We'll move some stuff over here. Give some... Give some uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just keep the spotlight right on that thing so it's like nice and blinding. Um, we're gonna go into a sun and moon pack. We've opened a bunch of these all week long, so we got a hollow. Actually, yeah, why don't I give you guys this code here then, just to be nice? I don't usually give out this many codes. I think I'm feeling generous. Do you guys like when I'm generous? Let me know. One, two, three. <gasps> Wait, there's an energy. We're gonna guess a. Double colors energy. No, we're going to guess a, uh, what have I got guessed in a while? Fire. There's the dark. That's a dark energy. So, what are we going to start things off with? We got that Chin Chu. Searching the light. Makuhita with the surprise attack. Caterpie. Caterpie. Pass, 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 pass. Young Goose. A Charger Bug. Shocking, isn't it? Rainbow energy. A Karaka Rock. I feel like I've seen a lot of him this week. Sir Skit. Reverse and our rare is ooh, and a Rangaroo holographic. Now I have plenty of these in IRL, but I have like none of these in the game. I have like one, I think, and I think I traded for another one. So I have two. I have two on the game, and these guys were kind of hard to get. Uh, let's put you in front of Chespin because 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 because. Let's open up some Ultra Prism now. The Ultra Prism. And I don't remember what I did last. Did I give you that Sun and Moon code? Yes, I did. Okay. Energy is metal. We're going to guess metal and then a psychic energy. Oh, it's lightning. So we're going to be way off today. Our energy guesses are bad. Oh, that's right. It doesn't focus on dark Pokemon like Murkrow. So if you guys started playing uh, Detective Pikachu because that first... Uh, now when I see Merker, I just see that first uh, that first trial and that. Alolan Vulpix. Stunky, are you confused? Another young goose scouting it out. So terrifying, that spirit tomb. Look at the locks. The golden locks of the Doug Trio. Ancient crystal for those Reggie Rocks, Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel, Reggie Gigas. Reverse is a rare Roserade. I actually haven't had this in reverse yet. And our rare is that Napoleon. Showing, flexing, so strong. Uh, I guess that's better than the Bronzong. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have one more pack here. And then maybe we'll just go get some lunch um, after this. So One, a two, a three. And energy is psychic because I already said it was psychic. And it is a fighting. That Lycanroc energy. We're going to start things off with that Gen 4 starter. Chinchar the Fiery Monkey. Dunstan checks in. Look, he checks in again. Puss Simeon. Veneery! I feel like I've never looked at the art. I'm always looking at the attack and saying it's weak knees. But look how adorable that artwork is. I didn't know. Carnivine chomp chomp. A Sneasel is so sneaky though. It's so sneaky though. Drift Blimp is transporting that damage with that wind wheel. Gabite in Ascension. Looker, looker, it's a whistle. Evolutionary advantage shinks. We get the item lock right away and our rare. Last rare of the pack is a Hippowdon. So, what? No GX pools? No. We got like three hollows, all right? No, we got two hollows. Um, a reverse rare. A really cool rare. And another really cool rare, but that one's not useful and one that is useful. So, uh, I don't know. Not bad. I think the Orangaroo is worth it. That's for sure. The Orangaroo is nice. But other than that, I mean, it's, 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 Roserade's kind of a troll to me. Polyrath is, it looks sweet though. It looks sweet though. So actually, let's throw a sleeve on this Polyrath. And we still got those three promos. So I'm excited for that. Um, unfortunately, the, the, the Twilight Lycanroc does not really have a use. Um, but the other two might have some niches where they can be amazing. Especially like... 
I really like the Rusty Claws um, as a last ditch effort. Um, I don't know what deck can actually utilize it with that two metal energy. It has to have a counter and another energy on it, which kind of makes it difficult. If it was just like two metals, that would be like crazy good. But uh, it's not. <laughs> so it, it's not terribly good yet. Uh, and Dawn Wings. I mean, also, it looks pretty cool. I like that they're labeled Ultra Beast. That means that you can use that Beast Ring when it comes out. Um, sort of Dawn it is interesting. I think it, you could see, I could see Dawn Wings Necrozma going well with that Malamar. And maybe that's where it's going to show some strength. Is It's going to get those, those three energy on it, discard two, and then get two back on it. I think that's where you're going to see Necrozma really shine. It's going to really punish those uh, Lucario Buzzhole decks. Which sucks because that's what I wanted to play. <laughs> so we'll see what happens with that. Um, Golf stream. I don't know how you're going to use that. Dust shot is interesting. 60 damage to one of your GX, your opponent's GXs or EXs. So for one, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. But I do not see this Lycan Rock doing really well. Bite is just not strong enough. Because um, you're going to want to use DC on it. And just 30 damage is not strong enough. And without... Those extra effects of like 30 to the bench or uh, that other thing. Uh, or the damage modifying 90 if it just evolves. Um, if it had that, it would be amazing. But I think there's another uh, another form of this Lycanroc coming out in the next set. And that one's going to be a lot better. And it's going to be in the theme decks, which is exciting. So I will not take up any more of you guys' time. Thank you so much for stopping by and having some lunch with me. Um, especially since it's like not even a work day, right? Love those stickers. We're going to see you guys the next time. Bye-bye.